right? We have this skin layer to our body, right? And if I peel the skin, I keep peeling the skin. Any questions so far? No? No questions about anything? I'm stalling because I'm just thinking of why I peel the skin. But if we start to peel the skin, we see that there's this white, right? In, in, uh, in the States, we call this white piece the pith, P-I-T-H, pith. Uh, but it's a, it can be similar to a superficial layer of fashion. It could be su superficial, it could be similar to a superficial layer of fashion. If I, if I were to ask you, what happens if you squeeze an orange? You say, juice comes out, right? But notice there's no juice coming out right now to this orange, right? It's all held together like uh, like this bag, right? And the, the connective tissue is similar to a bag, similar, but not so much. Um, so we are kind of like this orange where we have this, super, this layer, skin, right? If you squeeze us hard enough, I guess juice comes out. Hopefully, I don't want no demonstration of that. <laughs> but if you see, if you uh, if you see when I peel this, you have all these little wedges, right? And if I peel away, hopefully I don't want to. If I open up this orange, you see all these different wedges, right? Similar to muscle groups. Similar to muscle groups, right? So this could be my, my leg, right? This could be my leg, a whole muscle group of leg. I can peel away a wedge, and that could be vastus lateralis, right? How do you say it? Vastus lateralis? Yeah, vastus lateralis. So vastus lateralis, notice that it has its own this vastus lateralis has its own bag, its own layer of fascia. So we have fascia surrounding whole orange, we have fascia surrounding a whole muscle group, my leg, right? And then we have fascia surrounding vastus lateralis. Have you seen this before, this demonstration? No? Okay, great. And then, and then if I, I look, if I open it up, let's see, okay, if I open it up, Notice, still no juice coming out, right? Still no juice coming out. And we see all these different, different little layers, individual layers, like what? Muscle cells, muscle cells. And they are surrounded by this, their own connective tissues, just as our muscle cells are surrounded by fascia. Fascia, completely continuous, no break in fascia. We are in this honeycomb of fascia. We are learning so much about fascia, we still don't know what, what is going on. Incidentally, actually, one of the first um, in, vivo, uh, uh, in vivo diagnostics, or in vivo, I would say, uh, exploration of connective tissue of fascia was done by uh, Chinese surgeons, I think maybe almost 10 years ago now. And they said, oh my gosh, we've discovered this thing, it's in vivo, you, they went to a fascia congress and they showed the video and then the rockers came up and said, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's fascia, that's what it is. So anyway, this is how we are. Like I said, we are still discovering all of these very interesting things about fascia. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway.